Well, here is the first part of the ingestion, of the digestion process, and this is the ingestion of food. We a tortilla, which is going to be the food, and this pestle will represent the teeth, which is chewing the food, and then the mouth will add saliva, which contains uh, amylase, which is an enzyme to to process uh, starch and to turn into maltose. And then the food is passed to the esophagus, to the rest of the body. At the mouth, the food moves into the esophagus. Um, the esophageal muscles contract um, behind the food and relax in front of the food to create a wave of muscular contractions. Um, <laughs> The food moves down from the esophagus into the stomach. Um, and this, this process is called peristalsis. Once the food enters the stomach, the hydrochloric acid is added and it has a pH of 2, so we can see this if the universal indicator turns orange. Um, so this hydrochloric acid is used to kill any foreign bacteria from the food. Um, Later, pepsin is added to digest proteins into polypeptides. Um, and, the, and the stomach moves uh, its muscles in three different directions to digest the food. This process is called churning. Um, the entire process of the stomach uh, takes place between three to four hours and the result is known as chyme. Um, after muscular contractions in the stomach took place, food goes into the duodenum, um, which is the first part of the small intestine. This is, uh, this is where the bile is released from the gallbladder. Uh, to neutralize the, the acid. Um, here is so, this is the part. And here is here are the fats. And well it also emulsifies fat. Uh, well, now as we can see in the diagram, a triglyceride, uh, triglyceride these are broken down to fatty acids and glycerol with lipase. And starch is broken down to maltose with amylase. And polypeptides are broken down to ami amino acids with trypsin. trypsin. the small intestine, which is the ileum, where uh, pili absorbs the nutrients into the bloodstream. The clot represents the membrane separating the lumen from the bloodstream, and the dish represents the bloodstream.
So now, uh, fatty acids, glycerol, uh, amino acids, and uh, maltose have been digested enough to be absorbed through the uh, intestine walls, and the nutrients have gone to the, uh, to the bloodstream. In here is the large intestine where water is reabsorbed into the bloodstream, and the semi product is uh, um, turned into feces which they are moved and stored in the rectum.